Hi, this is Rich Harrington, and I want to show you how you can combine two images into one photo. Now, in this case, I have a sign that required taking two shots just to really get the whole thing in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select both images so they're synchronized in Camera Raw and take advantage of some of the controls here to really bring out the image, playing with clarity and a little bit of vibrance. And I'm just looking for the signs and the background to really pop in a good, solid way. When I'm satisfied with that, I will click Open Images to bring them both into Photoshop. With both images open, I'll choose File, Automate, Photo Merge. And I could choose to add the open files. With that selected, I'll choose the Geometric Distortion Correction and choose to blend the two images together. Because there's a bit of overlap between the two images, they will line up properly. Generally speaking, 20 to 25% is a good idea. And it's just going to put those two images together, align them, and create a proper overlap and seamlessly blend them together. There we go. Even though the two images were not precisely shot, you'll notice that they were able to be properly masked with Photoshop's auto algorithm, which did a great job of combining them. With the layers selected, I'll merge it together, and I'm going to choose Filter, Lens Correction. This will attempt to analyze the images and do its best to correct for things like additional distortion. I could jump over to the Custom tab and remove a little bit of distortion by pulling in or out. I'm satisfied with that, so I'll click OK. And then I'll take advantage of the newest type of distortion removal, Adaptive Wide Angle. Now I'm going to keep this really simple. I'll just grab the box tool over here, the Polygon Constraint, and click to define what should be a box. There we go. And I'll use the straight edge here. And just bring that back. You see a lot was removed, and if you shift-click, you could force that to be a vertical or horizontal line. There we go. Did well. And a little bit of dragging or tweaking can refine that just slightly. That's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to nudge that up ever so slightly. All right, if I toggle that off and on using the preview box, you can see the before and after, and quite a bit of distortion has been removed. There we go. Grab the crop tool. Let's dial in a custom size. And a quick pull on the corners there will finish out the crop of the image and give us a desired usable image that shows the sign, combines the two photos, and removes all of the distracting elements.